whether it's the International Space Station orbiting Earth, the Rosetta mission to rendezvous with a comet, or even a mission to Mars, we need to understand the force of gravity. This gravity well is a potential energy model of a gravitational field, and we're going to be using it to illustrate the path of an object orbiting the Sun. In this model, the Sun is located here, and what we can see is that the further you get away from the Sun, the higher the potential energy. That's what we mean by the surface going upwards. Now, very often, we think that orbits are circular, but actually, they're elliptical. And we can show that very easily with our marbles. With the gravity well, we can see orbits that are nearly circular. These are the ones with a very low eccentricity. We can see highly elliptical orbits, like those of comets, with a much higher eccentricity. And no matter what orbit type we have, we can also see Kepler's laws in action. His second law. Equal areas are swept out in equal times. This is why for a comet, as it approaches the Sun, its velocity goes up dramatically. As it recedes from the Sun to the furthest point of its orbit, its velocity decreases. Kepler's third law, the orbital period squared is proportional to the orbital radius cubed. So whether it's planets orbiting the Sun or space telescopes like SOHO, and Gaia orbiting the Lagrangian points, the gravity well is an excellent tool to help us visualise the physics involved.